deduce from an enthalpy level diagram all of that stuff. Enthalpy level, energy level, that's what I call them. Uh, so on the y-axis is energy and on the x-axis is reaction coordinate. But you could probably say time, the IB don't mind. So lower energy is more stable, that's like a universal truth. And so there the products have a lower energy, the products are more stable. But on that diagram, the reactants have a lower energy. And so they're more stable. Let's draw in some more details. Drawing a line along from the products and the reactants, let's say it's 120 and it's 40. Now you can never actually measure those directly, but if you were to be able to get numbers, that arrow going down from 120 to 40, well that is the delta H, that is the change in enthalpy or the change in energy for this reaction. And in this case, it would be minus 80. So as the products are more stable than the reactants, that is an exothermic reaction. Delta H is negative for exothermic. Seems a little counterintuitive, but 80 energy units were released. Reactants to products, well, this is the endothermic one. You can see, if I just put some arbitrary numbers in, that that delta H there is going to be 300, plus 300 energy units. And so I've added energy to make the products. So energy's increased, and that's endothermic. Delta H is positive. 